Hey guys, it's your favorite Unc here. Go ahead and click that subscribe button below so you don't miss a single episode of Nightcap. That button right here. Come for the sports, stay for the stories. Ocho, the Cowboys might be beheading for a potential holdout by C.D. Lamb. The Cowboys will start their spring workouts April 15th and barring a contract extension, excuse me, C.D. Lamb won't take the field. The Dallas Cowboys are star uh, staring down the barrel of three potential market-setting extensions. Michael Parsons, C.D. Lamb, Dak Prescott. Mm. Beyond pinch and pennies. Now remember, remember, Jerry said he going all in. All in. And what yeah. he meant by all in was all in on the guys that he got. Right. Okay, sure he said at first he was going all in. Then he's like, nah, nah, Steven says, well, you know, clarify, we go mm-hmm. all in on our guys. Okay. Right. So Dak Prescott has grown accustomed to the football field without C.D. Lamb on it. Of his 590 passes he threw uh, last season, 590, 94 attempts, attempt, 90, almost 95% came with C.D. running the route. They connected 133 times to on, uh, in 2023, fourth most completion between a duo in NFL history. So you look at the numbers, right? You look yep. at the chemistry between Dak Pre- Prescott and CeeDee Lamb. You understand how vital and important CeeDee Lamb is to the offense, especially for Dak Prescott. So as, mm-hmm. as an owner, as Jerry Jones, as Stephen Jones, uh, you understand you want to work the numbers. You want to you want to do right by CD by any means. But what I don't understand is you knew at some point it was going to come to this. You know, yeah. and I, I never understood, even with the offseason program coming up, you want your players at your offseason program. You want your players happy at your offseason program. Um, obviously missing time. CD, he knows he knows the routine, he knows the offense, but still, you just want to get those extra reps with your quarterback, with your offense, the camaraderie, the chemistry between everybody, and have everybody showing up to the offseason program. But again, here we are. Now we had a stalemate. We had a stalemate. Every time it's time for somebody to get paid, especially the skill position, especially the skill skill position, we got to fight tooth and nail. We got to crawl. We yeah. Gotta come in late. We got to act like everybody. We, Emmett, we remember Emmett up. had to hold out. Remember Emmett missed the first. That was way. I mean, I don't know if you remember, but Emmett missed the first two e- games. Ezekiel Elliott had to hold out. Zeke was, I don't where was Zeke was at? Zeke was somewhere. Cabo. And yeah, Zeke and Cabo chilling. Why? Why? I'm not sure why. I think I, for some reason, I think owners do it on purpose. I think they do it's it on a purpose. Bless- Ocho, it's a blessing and a curse because that was, the Cowboys do do a very good job of drafting. But when you draft good players and they perform, right. you have to pay them or you're going to lose them. Yeah. Right, listen, you drafted you Michael Parsons. He's yeah. been what you expected when you drafted him. And some. So guess what? He's going to command a premium. C.D. Lamb has shown himself to be a top receiver. You're going to have to pay him. Now, Trayvon Diggs did you a solid. Uh, he went to the table. He negotiated a deal that he felt was fair with him. He got the money, and he's like, look, see what happened? And I not got my money. Boom, I got this knee injury. They right. weren't going to pay me what they paid me. You know, blah, blah. I, I get yeah. it. Got no problem with right. it. Right. But CD like, nah, bro. Y'all need to break bread. I ain't going to year five. Y'all need to go and do right by me. Mm. That ain't I mean, gonna happen. They, they, you know what? They're gonna do it. They're gonna do it. They're gonna pay him, but it's gonna be at the last minute, probably right before training camp, getting ready to start, an hour before training camp starts. <laughs> then they're gonna go across the ticker, CD Lamb, and just gotten paid. I think they do it on that for some reason. I think they don't they do it on purpose. I mean, as if, an owner, if, if, the number, the numbers are the numbers. The if numbers are the I'm numbers. Show up. Just just get, get everybody in there. If he said I'm gonna show up an hour before practice. <laughs> You want to be you want to wait an hour before you want to wait, wait an hour before training camp, but I'll be waiting an hour before the practice. Man, it's I, I don't know why they do it, and they do it consistently. Not yeah. just not just the Cowboys. Every good receiver has to wait. They yeah. they have they have to wait. I don't know why they do it. Yeah, because the thing you look, uh, I pay the man. I mean, look, really, quarterback is really the only position that you get paid on potential. Hmm. Because why else would you give Daniel Jones $40 million? Well, obviously, you don't have a choice. This, this is another thing. This is very important. Timing in the NFL, depending on the player, is everything. The timing for Daniel Jones was perfect. There was no other option. So you yes, didn't have no choice. You, you didn't have to do anything. You had a fifth-year option you could have picked up. You didn't have to do anything. You see? 
See, they didn't even got you convinced that they had, they had to do something. It's the same thing with the Broncos. The Broncos didn't have to do, decide to do it to give Russ an extension. He has two years still left on his deal. Right. So what you mean they didn't have no choice? They 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 wanted to take they wanted to take care of Russ and understanding and what he was what he had done in the past and hoping that it can continue see in the future with them. Why don't they do that for other positions? Well, listen, that quarterback. You don't know position, what C, they, listen, you don't know what CD gonna do. You you know what you know what that tells you that tells you how important the quarterback position is. Oh, we we know that, that. is why that's that's why they take care of them in hopes that okay we're paying you this in hopes we want you happy we want you we want you happy and we want you at your best and let's hope. With us paying you, you're able to fulfill what we hope we, what we think you can do. Yeah, but here's the thing, though, Ocho. If you look at it, uh, when <sighs> lost my train of thought, what I wanted to say. But if you look at if you look at the players and you mm-hmm. base it on, so what are we doing? Are you paying him for what you believe he had done, or you were for, mm-hmm. are you rewarding him for what he's done? Well, yeah, I think when when it comes to quarterbacks, I think they're rewarding him. For what you think he's going to do? So, so you, you thought, look at so Daniel. You Daniel, you Daniel look at Jones. The, why? Why they pay Daniel Jones? Think about it. That's what I'm asking you. I, I, I just told you we're rewarding you in hopes you're going to do what we think you're capable of doing based on what we've seen so far. So Not you disregard poten- you poten- di- potential. Potential. That potential means you haven't done anything yet. So in yeah. other words, you're going to disregard. You're going to disregard the three years you saw. So the three years mm. that don't mean nothing, Ocho. I take the one year. You see what you see how it does. You see you see what they do. How they do it, Ocho. Yeah. That they take one year. Now Saquon Barkley had proven. Boom. Now nah, you know what we're mm. gonna put the tag on. You want to see it one more time? But Daniel Jones, we've seen enough. Yeah. Yeah. Here's one sixty. We give the the quarterback position again. The best offensive weapon for the New York Giants was Saquon Barkley. Yeah. Ray sure. Charles can see that. But again, Ocho. The, the way the game has evolved, nobody values the F running back position. Oh, they think don't, about, they don't value think about it. what they've done. No position has ever been, has is protected more than the quarterback. They think so little of the running back. They mm-hmm. say now you can't even lower your helmet. You can't lower your head to run somebody over, Ocho. But somebody gonna get hurt now. I, uh, somebody, somebody gonna get hurt. It's I'm only one way. It's only back. one way to run the ball. <laughs> run behind your pass. Nah, we don't want you to run behind your pass. We want you to run through the hole like this here. Yeah, straight up. Like you, like you are um not Ricky Waters. What's his name? Roger ED. Craig. Well, Roger Craig ran with the high knees. E D uh also ran straight up. Yeah, he, yeah, er, yeah, he sure was. Oh, so check this out. Since 1990, 59 quarterbacks have been selected in the top 10. Uh-huh. Since 1990, 1990 was the year that I came out. Mm-hmm. Only four quarterbacks. Damn, you old. I am. <laughs> Keep, Damn. You you go you go realize that you get to a certain age. That's the only purpose in life at this point in time. Oh yeah, you, you get right. old. You right about that. <laughs> <laughs> I, I tell you what. I bet you take getting old versus the alternative. What's up? Oh yeah, I don't want to. <laughs> yeah, oh, not yeah. yet. Oh yeah, not yet. Oh yeah, <laughs> not yet. Oh, no, not Only yet. four quarterbacks have been named first team All Pro of the fifty nine quarterbacks selected in the top ten: Peyton Manning, Matt Ryan, Cam Newton, Patrick Mahomes. Fifty nine. So we got thirty five years of data. Mm-hmm. And of the fifty nine quarterbacks that's been selected in the top ten, only four: Peyton now Manning, Matt Ryan, Matt Ryan once, Cam Newton once. Peyton Manning, I think Peyton Manning is seven times uh, first team All Pro. Patrick Holmes twice. Now, now you see why they put such a huge importance on the quarterback position. Yeah, because once you once you get one, <laughs> once you get Asher one, just shaking her head. Uh, uh, she upset at me. About what happened? Because I said Peyton Manning. Uh, I think Peyton has been selected first team All Pro seven times, and she looked over here real dejected. It has. It's been about seven, though, hasn't it? It's seven. It's seven. It's seven. I mean, think about it, Ocho. The man has almost damn near as many MVPs as he's been first team All Pro. Pros. <laughs> but Peyton, Peyton, man, Peyton was nice. With that man. dude, man. We talk. We talk about talk. We talk about a student of the game. Oh uh, yeah, and he a good. I mean, he's just a good. I mean, look. 
Uh, he's just a good dude. I mean, just good to talk to about anything, talk about football. He talk about life. He, mm-hmm. he loved to have, I mean, I went to, like I said, my, my last pro bowl I went to in, in, um, in Oh one after the Oh one season, um, he was the quarterback. I think he Brady, he Brady and maybe, uh, McNair might've been my quarterback. Well, I was just over there. I don't know. I wouldn't say they were my quarterback. Cause I ain't do, I was terrible. Mm. Damn, uh, man, them boys got them. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I had some quarterbacks now. I had some quarterbacks during my time. Oh, yeah. Marino, oh, yeah. Elway, uh, Kelly, mm-hmm. uh, Warren Moon, mm-hmm. uh, Joe Montana, Brady, Manny, Damn. McNair. <laughs> I ran the gauntlet. I ran the gauntlet, don't you? I ran the gauntlet. I did. Yeah, it's, it's yeah, hard. I, mean, to... I had, well, I'm, I'm trying to think. Well, you had Brady and Manning, didn't you? But Brady, Brady probably didn't come when you was there because Brady stopped coming because that was like after I don't think Brady came more than mm. twice. I know he came that one year. Yeah. But I don't I'm think not, he I don't I'm think not, he I'm I'm not sure. I can't, I can't remember. I know Peyton was there. I know I remember Steve McNair. I had Steve um Rothers Rothersberger. Mm-hmm. Uh I had, Car- I had Carson. I'm trying, I'm trying to think who else. Culpepper. No, Kobe was NFC. No. NFC. Man, that's a good one. Now you jogging my memory. I can't even remember yeah. some of the quarterbacks. Yeah, but your your your, your list can't touch mine though. My list. My yeah, list. yeah, you yeah, listen, you you played an era, you played an era with them boys. I'm talking about <laughs> them boys. The real yeah, deal. Yeah, I mean that hold on, let's see. Elway. Well, you got all Reno, Hall of Famers too. Montana, uh, Manning, Brady. Well, that's five. Oh, Warren Moon. Jim Kelly, seven Hall of Famers, McNair. We had some, we had mm-hmm. some dogs over there, and back then they knocked the hell out you at, at the Pro Bowl. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> especially oh, come fourth listen, quarter. We man, was playing for real hard for that ten grand. But when that money time come in the fourth quarter, <laughs> yeah, and, and Ray Lewis, Ray Lewis pacing up and down the sideline, say, "All right, now, yeah. it's time to go. Yeah, time to play. We won them little ten measly thousand dollars." <laughs> Man, you done brought you done brought you done pay for coaches and they wives to come Listen. over. You might have brought some family. Man, please. Man, the little ten thousand was gonna go a long way. Yeah, I needed all that. Yeah, I needed all man. that. I needed all that. <laughs> I think now, I think they now they was making like maybe fifty and eighty thousand. Back then, the losers got five thousand, Ocho. The losers yeah, got five thousand. Winners got ten. I think during my time, we might have been at maybe maybe thirty some. I might I yeah. might be wrong. I, I can't remember. Might have been maybe thirty thirty some for the winner. But now, what what you think they making now? Pro Bowl? Well, now it's flag know, football. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, because now they got flag and they got um they got like skills competition and right. stuff like that. But the, so listen, I, I don't but know. The, but the numbers the numbers never go down though. So the numbers are still the same. They just yeah. don't have to do as much. Yeah, right. They don't. They don't. They don't have a game. Um, yeah. And uh, but you guys get get a Pro Bowl nod. Hey, Anthony Richardson. Fact, go ahead. I'm so glad you said that. Think of the Pro Bowl, the format. This is the format I think they should do this year. Now I'm not sure if you could run if you could run right now. I think they should have the current NFC and AFC rosters that make the Pro Bowl and have them play against. The old timers, not not that old, but I'm just saying the ones that are Family. still capable. The, listen, stay with me now. The ones that are still capable of moving a little bit just to make it competitive and fun, even if no. it's flag football. I think I think it would be dope. Think about think about the concept. Just All you gonna have concept. is a bunch of torn Achilles, ACLs, and quad muscles. Man, them got ain't nobody moving like don't nobody move like that. I, I know Joe. what you mean. I, but um, it's, it, we didn't, they didn't they didn't they didn't took it down to flag football. I'm just saying, just think about the concept on how fun it would be if the former players knew. Like, listen, we got we got six months to get ourselves together, and we and whoever makes the Pro Bowl, we get to be back out there again. I think it would just be fun to have some of the some of the players from back in the day. Facing some of the younger generation in today's game, I just lined up. I mean, they, we ain't trying to kill each other. Just out there having a little fun. Well, y'all go ahead, have, have fun. Y'all let me know be, how that work out for y'all. I just think I it coach. would be fun. I yeah, coach. you, you, okay, you coach. Well, I'm gonna play. I'm going full speed. I don't care. Well, y'all take off. <laughs> 